every time. You good boy? You good boy? So I got an email this morning from Navy Boot Camp. From a recruit division commander. So before we get into this video, it's crazy though to me that someone that I would be contacted by somebody like that when I first started this channel. You know, I'm just one guy. I'm just one guy on my couch, just like you who is a, a Navy veteran and you know I make these videos and it's crazy the amount of influence you know that I have now with people that are joining going to boot camp and joining the military and that I would get an email like this that I would get contacted by somebody from Navy boot camp it just that situation especially after drip 46 just coming back drip 46 he made this huge announcement video he's a veteran now and he's back to making videos and you know, I've been a veteran for a couple years now, and man, the military, it still has that grasp on you. You know, you think you're free, but you get something like this and it kind of reminds you of that mindset, like, oh shit, maybe I'm not free. Now, as a lot of you guys know, I reacted to a Navy boot camp video a couple days ago. And that video is now private. Um, I took it down and out of respect to this person. Look, the main reason I took this video down, why I put it to private, is because I understand where this RDC is coming from that contacted me. I understand their point of view. Um, myself, I have friends that are RDCs right now. Some of them are actually going through training and will be RDCs for you guys that are going to boot camp soon. And if I was in their position, I wouldn't want you know something to make my time there at Great Lakes trying to push division division through even harder. You know, even if my video was from an entertainment point of view, how I reacted to it. It was for entertainment, it was to maybe educate you guys and to give you my opinion. I guess what it comes down to is I have empathy. You know, I can understand how, where this person's coming from and the email that they sent me and the reasons why they requested the video to be set to private for now. Look, and also, to be honest, this is kind of a new territory. You know, with social media and military interconnecting so tightly now. Um, you just don't want to poke the bear sometimes. And myself being active duty, um, I know what it's like. The military is going to get theirs and there's no point in poking it. Even though I do have my DD-214, I do have my honorable discharge. Look, and all you people that are going to say, you know, oh, why are you standing down? Why are you standing down? It's not, it's not about me standing up to anything. It's about me having respect for this person's request. This person is active duty still. I understand, I know what it's like when you're active duty and the grind that it is. So, um, you know, that, that's where it's coming from. For all the fam that's out here every day supporting the channel, liking, subscribing, commenting, I appreciate you so much. But yes, it's just crazy to me when I reflect on my beginnings. My humble beginnings as a lowly E3 when I first made my first video back in 2012. And to now where I'm getting emails from people at boot camp from people in the chain of command. Um, wow, I mean, I guess that's a testament, like I said, to your guys' continuous support and growth of the channel, and it's a testament to the influence that we have here. In my eyes, in this pose, in this guise, there's no one.